Want to learn how to create your very own tried and tested sharpening preset that works in every image? Let's dive right in. In this quick video, I'm going to show you how to create this sharpening preset. Now it's one that I use in 95% of my images and I have used it since Luminar AI and I've used it in different camera profiles and different subject matter. But to create this, I had to use a sky. So without further ado, I'm going to show you the settings for this preset that you can follow along and then save. First thing we're going to do is go into Enhance AI and we are going to take the accent to 50 and the sky enhance to 18. Next part is develop and we're going to take the smart contrast to 30. Next part is structure and again take that to 30. Now the next part goes into colour and that's simply for my benefit because of the blues in some of the images. But I'll add that in for this as well. So if we go into colour and we go into saturation and we take the blue to minus 28. Remember these are my settings. Minus 28 and we take the yellow to minus 13. Unlucky for some, but this has worked great for me in all of my images. The next step to this is go into the luminance and take the cyan to minus 20. Double click there, minus 20. Next step is go into details and take this to 3. Medium details to 16 and the sharpen to 2. Next step. Go into landscape and take the dehaze to 10, the golden hour to 5. Now this is based around most of my landscape images but you'll see so far how much this has changed the image. The last part of this is a vignette and for the vignette I'm going to go to minus 30. Go into the advanced settings, take the roundness to 30 and take the feather to 30. And that's it. So I'll now show you the before and after. This is after the preset is done. And that's the preset there. Now what we do now is we can go into actions and we can go save as preset. So now what you do is you go in and you rename this. And I'm going to call this clean and crisp. And I'll call this one video. As you see, I already have it there for Fuji. And then we hit return. You'll see I already have it there and it's already saved as one of my favourites by clicking on the heart. And if I go into presets, go back to there, I'm going to my presets and favourites, you see it's in there. As I mentioned, I use this in about 95% of my final images. I've tried it with different cameras, the Nikon Z7 II, the Nikon Z7 VI, uh, Fuji X-T3, Fuji X-T4. I also tried it with a couple of other cameras that I can't remember at the moment. But I hope you find this useful and I use it as a precursor to the actual edit. So I'll apply this preset first, then I'll go in and edit. Hopefully you found that helpful and hopefully you get some use out of the preset. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.